So I think in these early ranks, there is a lot of button mashing going on and it can be frustrating feeling like you don't have any control or influence over what the opponent's doing. And so I think the number one thing that's going to help you and the number one thing that's helped me so far is just building a really solid game plan out of one and down forward one. So I'm not confident enough to claim that this conversation will pertain to every character, but it should pertain to most of the characters in the game. Uh, I'm here on Fang because I haven't really played with him a whole lot. I've hopped into the training room here for about 20 minutes before recording this, and I just wanted to show you how we discover these things on a new character. But the problem is, is that we're probably fishing with the wrong buttons. We're like running around and we're doing like big sweeps, or we're doing hop kicks, or we're doing something like this, or like a down forward too. And the problem is that like, look at this, it's 30 frames on startup, minus 26 frames. This is 15 frames on startup, minus 13. This is 17 frames on startup, minus 15. We're just giving the opponent way too much time to be able to push buttons. We gotta make this a little bit more compact, right? And so to begin, one is a 10 frame move that is plus one on block. Uh, by default, the fastest moves in the game are 10 frames. There are very few exceptions. And so if Kazuya were to try and jab in return, uh, if we just did one again, we would hit him because the startup of our moves are identical, but we had the one frame of advantage on block. And so in theory, you know, we could just do this over and over and over again, and there would be really nothing to stop us. Uh, the opponent is going to have to eventually duck, right? Or do some sort of move that will evade and go underneath this. And just to show you what this looks like now, when I do two jabs in a row, Kazuya is doing this low evasive move to go right under it, right? And so you're probably thinking, I'm seeing what you're putting down. If we just do this over and over, then when they duck, I can hop kick them, right? No too risky we just start integrating a safe fast mid poke right down forward one let's see if we start integrating down forward one boom now suddenly we have a counter hit and we're plus 36 so fang can do something like this and since it's 32 frames now he's like plus eight and in your face and he's forced the opponent into crouching and it's a big deal right but let's say the opponent blocks down forward one uh, Fang's down forward one is honestly exceptional. It's 14 frames on startup, but it's frame advantage zero, which is really good. But since down forward one is zero on block and not plus one, if we do it and then we try to jab, we're going to trade with the opponent, right? Because there's no advantage. We're both doing the same move. Now, incidentally, Fang is kind of cheating in this department because he has palm, right? But we'll kind of ignore that part. If we didn't have some sort of fucked up 10 frame move, what we might do instead is do some sort of evasive move like that. Uh, or we could do something like this. We could sidestep, right? But if we're now evading by going low, the opponent might start doing their own fast mid, right? See, this is catching that option. This is catching this option. But a mid is slower than a high. So we just go back to jabbing. So now if you're anticipating a mid, you could start finishing these strings, right? Eight frames of advantage, right? Back turn. Five frames of advantage, right? Just to show you an example on another character. Uh, if I do down forward one, my down forward one is 13 frames and it's minus one on block, but I don't necessarily give up my turn. I could do forward, forward, four. I could do down three. I could do down two. And if they start doing a mid, then I can just interrupt it with this string, right? So this isn't to say never hop kick or never do some crazy shit, right? It's you know, it is a game, have fun with it. And also those things are just good to mix in every so often. But what I'm encouraging you to do is to start with this compact game plan because it's, it's much easier to control and then expand out from here. And if you're struggling to defend against mashy players, I would also recommend watching the video on screen now. Thanks so much, everybody. See you in the next one. Peace.